Crookston Castle is located in the Pollock area of southwest Glasgow. The castle sits atop a natural hill, and is surrounded by a defensive ring ditch, that dates back to the 12th century when it was first built, along with a chapel, by Sir Robert de Crook. The lands of Crookston were bought by the Darnley Stuarts in the mid-14th century, and the early castle was replaced with the present stone structure around 1400. In 1489, the Darnley Stuarts rebelled against James IV. James responded by bringing the Canon Mons Meg from Edinburgh, and bombarding the castle, virtually destroying its western end. In 1544, the castle was besieged and taken while the Darnley Stuarts were defending Glasgow Castle. The castle next changed hands twice in the 18th century. It then slipped into abandonment until partial restoration by the Maxwells of Pollock in 1847, to honor Queen Victoria's visit to Glasgow. In 1931, Crookston became the first property acquired by the National Trust for Scotland. Today it is a scheduled monument and the only surviving medieval castle in Glasgow. Glasgow Cathedral, also called the High Kirk of Glasgow, or St. Kentigern's, or St. Mungo's Cathedral, is the oldest cathedral on mainland Scotland and is the oldest building in Glasgow. The tomb of St. Mungo, the patron saint of Glasgow, lies in the lower crypt. Built from the late 12th century onwards, the building is a superb example of Scottish Gothic architecture. It is the only medieval cathedral on the Scottish mainland to have survived the Reformation not unroofed. In 1502, James IV ratified the Treaty of Perpetual Peace with England at the cathedral's high altar. The cathedral also played a part in the battles of Glasgow in 1544 and 1560. In 1583 the town council took responsibility for repairing the cathedral, and in the mid-19th century it became property of the state, which it remains to this day. Proven Hall can be found in Auchinleigh Park in Easter House, Glasgow, and is considered Scotland's best example of a medieval fortified country house. In the early 12th century, David I granted a large estate in northeast Glasgow to the church. Over the coming centuries, representatives of Glasgow Cathedral used Proven Hall to administer the estate. In the 16th century, the Bailey family took over ownership of the estate in Proven Hall, but by 1647, Proven Hall had passed by marriage to the Hamilton family. In 1729, the Borough Council broke up the estate and sold Proven Hall to the Buchanan family. Many changes were made at this time, and Proven Hall became the centre of a farm until 1934, when the family died out. Later in the 20th century, a group of local businessmen bought Proven Hall, and gifted it to the National Trust for Scotland. Glasgow Green is a park in the east end of Glasgow, on the north bank of the River Clyde. Established in the 15th century, it is the oldest park in the city. In 1450, King James II granted the land to Bishop William Turnbull, and the people of Glasgow. At this time, the green was an uneven swampy area, divided by the Kemalaki Burn, and the Molendina Burn into the High and Low Greens, the Calton Green, and the Gallowgate Green. During its first few centuries, the green was used for grazing, laundry, drying fishing nets, and for swimming. In 1792, 
The park was extended to the east by the purchase of Flesher's Howe, and after the Napoleonic Wars, the green was remodeled. The green played an important role in the radical movement of the early 19th century. In 1816, some 40,000 people came to the green in support of more representative government and lower food prices. 1820 saw the radical movement conspirators meet, and strikers carry out military drills on the green. Later, James Wilson was convicted of treason for allegedly being a leader of the insurrection. He was hanged and beheaded on Glasgow Green in front of a crowd of some 20,000 people. The Green continued to be a meeting place throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries, playing a role in the Chartism movement, the women's suffragette movement, and anti-World War I demonstrations. The links with the water remain. Two of Scotland's oldest rowing clubs are located in the Green, along with the Glasgow Humane Society, the world's oldest practical life-saving organisation. The Governold Parish Church is the name of the original parish church serving Govan in Glasgow from the 6th century, until 2007. The church is dedicated to St. Constantine of Strathclyde. The church houses an internationally significant collection of early medieval sculpture, known as the Govan Stones. All the carved stones come from the churchyard, and date from the 9th to the 11th centuries. It is believed that the site's earliest Christian activity began sometime in the 6th century. In the 1990s, two early Christian burials dating from this time, were discovered beneath the foundations of a later church. Despite this early activity, it wasn't until the 9th and 10th centuries that Governor Old Parish Church rose to prominence, when Govan appears to have succeeded Dumbarton following Viking assaults and become the preeminent political center on the Clyde. In the 12th century, David I granted the lands of Govan to Glasgow Cathedral. During the Middle Ages, the early timber church was replaced with a stone-built church. However, by 1820 the fabric of the church had deteriorated and it was rebuilt in the Scottish Gothic Revival style in 1826, and again in 1888. 